Great grind day, great grind day. <laughs> Y'all see it. Look, we're in the fourth quarter right now, and we got this thing. It's called the Grindation Life and Business Mastermind. This is our fourth quarter meetup. We do one every quarter, and right now we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Y'all see the hook? I don't even know how they found this place, but we're going to be here for the next two days talking about life, talking about business. We're bringing in my accountant. We're bringing in Yogi, I guess. He do yoga. But just helping people to really grow and grasp the concept of Nothing comes to you until something comes from you. Working your life and your business from the inside out. It ain't all about that bread. Money comes as a result of the work that you put in. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to have a good time this weekend. Y'all have a great grind day. One of the things I learned as I start growing in this thing is the business side, your career side, that's an added bonus. Who you are is going to determine how successful you become. 85 to 90% of them said they wake up to go to work. You should be getting ready for your day, not getting up to go to work. And it's that mindset of waking up to really get your day going, to get your mind right. But as I get more mature, I'm learning to listen to my body and I just look at things a little different. And so I said to myself, like this life and business mastermind going into 2020, this gonna be that thing. Like I'm completely changing the look of my business. What you see today is not gonna be what we see in 2020. This year, we are on that same trajectory and it's hard and I ain't have no fun because I feel like I'm chasing money because I had a number in my head, a number in my head that I wanted to get and in chasing the number, I wasn't having fun. I was, I was working with people that I didn't want to work with. I was doing things that I really didn't, I wasn't comfortable doing. And the more mature I get, I'm gonna be honest, the more stuff sets me off. Going into 2020, I'm not doing anything that I'm not enjoying because I don't have to chase money no more. We ain't got to chase it. Is, is it gonna change? Absolutely. If I make the adjustment, I might not make a meal. I might make less, but I'm gonna bring more home. But here's the key thing, I'm gonna be happy. This has been transformative for me. I've had a chance to think a little deeper about my life and my business, how to work on the two things and make them work better in harmony. It's given me a chance to think more about not just business, but health, relationships, and life overall. I used to think it was money, just I, I really did, because I thought that the money would allow me to do things that would bring the success but it's not because money success for me is seeing people succeed at what they like that butters my biscuit that makes me that's why I wake up seeing my my son and, and my daughter together working together building a family growing a family seeing you guys prosper in whatever it is that you want to prosper See, making sure that in those four core four areas of your life your mindset your health your relationships, that balance, and then your wealth, all of those are where you want them to be. And, and you're flourishing. That for me is success. Being able to help and serve people to get and share with them whatever I can so that you can get and accomplish everything that you want to accomplish. I like, I wanna see people healed. I wanna see people whole. In other types of, I'll call it seminars that I've been to, have been more so focused around business. I think the challenge that we all face is trying to blend the business part of it and still taking care of our family and our loved ones and making it all work together. What he would say is getting that balance. And so two days isn't a long time to cover all that, but I feel like somehow he managed to put together a program that I feel complete. Like, I feel like I have an action plan coming out of this. We always focused on extrinsic and not intrinsic, that internal. We always looking to grab something on the outside and bring it in. When, if we started on the inside, we would be a reflection of who we are. What I do or what you do should be a reflection of who you are, not the other way around. And you're miserable at your job because you're just doing the job for money, and that's fine. But when you start to go down a career path, you should find a career that fits who you are. The problem is not making money. There's two, two issues. What you do with it when you make it, and that's based on your internal self. Things that you've learned, habits that you've picked up along the way. 
So how you spend or invest your money comes from your internal, your individual self. And then the other thing is, in our minds, we feel like we need more and more and more and more. Whatever that fear is that you, that you believe you have, it's an expectation, now watch, it's either helping you or hindering you from really being truly successful. And in most of our cases, it's a hindrance. You don't wanna fail so bad that you're overcompensating in areas of your life where you shouldn't be. And some of us, our fears keep us from actually growing, not just going. Because you're going, you're moving. But some of us moving in the wrong direction. You ain't moving on the path that you're supposed to be moving on because you're letting outside expectations guide you and you ain't tapping into yourself. That's why I wanted us to go a little deeper. Like really not just getting away with saying, I wanna be happy. The best way for us to get growth is to open up and be a little bit more raw or transparent and stop lying. I don't usually talk at all. I usually, I'm, I'm one of those person, pe people where I stay in the cut and I listen. If I really don't feel like I have anything to say or if I can't apply anything, I don't say anything but being here with more like-minded people, it makes you wanna open up, it makes you wanna talk, it makes you wanna, you know, put yourself out there, yeah. We think that I gotta go and do instead of stopping and be. And it's in the be, not the do. Doing is a result of you being who you're supposed to be. So when you do close a deal, when you do start to level up in your business, it's because at some point, you're being who you're supposed to be in life and in business. Everybody works and we generate revenue, but we all think we need more money. People that make a lot of money have just taken a lot more risks. Now getting to the money is one thing, but being able to maintain it over a period of time is what? So it doesn't matter, CEO of major companies, if you study them, most of them do what in the morning? What time do they on average wake up? Five. And what do they do when they wake up? They move, they reflect, so, and then they start doing what? Working. They stop at a certain time. They got a routine, they got a schedule. What you do? And this is the crazy thing. I, I had to check myself. Like you say you want to be great, but you ain't even doing the things that the great people do. But what we do, the key in that is, regardless of what they did before they got on, if what they're doing now is working for them and maintaining a level of success, let me start where they are. If you saying my priority is this, then the fact of the matter should be the majority of your focused energy should be making sure that you can get, that you're fulfilling that priority. Man, you gotta get into the environment because you wouldn't get the information if you wasn't into these kind of environments. Like, I'd never been to a mastermind before, so being here, again, I didn't know what to expect, but now that I've experienced, I see that being around individuals that can give you information, and we're not talking about like information that you may get on a call or you may get on YouTube. We're talking about firsthand information where people are giving you like tangible, practical, information that you can implement like right now. You can't get that nowhere. Like, but you gotta be in the environment to do it. I will tell you like, you gotta get into a mastermind. And I will tell you, come in to this G Life and G Business. It's all, every season something changes. So what's your number one priority? You told me you wanted to get to a certain point. You were ready to make a move. Now if that became a priority, what are the adjustments that you're gonna have to make in your life, in the way you do things? And if you don't make those adjustments, guess what's not gonna happen? You're not gonna get there. And you gotta make a decision and say, yo, if this is really a priority for me, if it's really a priority, what adjustments am I making? Let's, I just wanna be real with y'all. If you ain't taking care of yourself, you ain't no good to nobody. We look at life as a destination. It's an end game. It don't stop. It's, life is a game. It's all about direction. You wanna do what you're doing, but are you taking care of yourself? Are you reading to regurgitate? Or are you studying to practice it? So if you say that there's something in your life that you want to do, you want to be great at, you got to ask yourself, am I experiencing it? And the reason why we're not where we want to be in life, in our relationships, or in business is because you're not personally growing and developing. Figure out what your number one priority is, what your number two priority is, what your number three priority is, and what your number four priority is. And based on your priorities, you put the amount of focused energy in the areas to make sure that that priority gets taken care of. So you no longer have a to-do list, you have a what? And better yet, a what list? A must-do list. Because you ain't gonna get everything done every day. I don't want nobody in this group 
going into 2020 talking about, I'm coming to get what's all mine. And 2020 going to be, don't you ever say that again. Next year going to be my best year ever. Mm -mm. Your best yet to come. What you're doing is getting ready for what's coming. 